she's hey. oh there you are hey <laughs> hello 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 i'm just lighting an incense real quick oh this is funny because we were just talking about the incense on the other one <laughs> yes i i was there i heard i was thinking oh, the same thing i love incense <laughs> your bat is looking fabulous by the way like peeking oh, thank through. you <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes. I before getting in here, I was like, man, I really don't want to get out of my jammies yet. And I was like, with the theme being like relax and relaxation, I was like, you know what? The yep. jammies are staying on for the longer. <laughs> yep, that's perfect for yoga, and everything is perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm really glad you asked me to do this because, as you know, you know, I like like the more gentle sides of yoga. Mm-hmm. So when we do yoga today, it's very much like slow pace like being easy with yourself giving yourself that gentle self-love that we all deserve I love it I love it I've tried to do some um like hot yoga before my friends actually do like a hot yoga challenge I'm like that is so intense like that's great too (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah it's fun but yeah it can definitely be a little intense that's funny because I took a hot yoga class yesterday and I'm still a little yeah, I'm still a little <laughs> sore. <laughs> it was a lot. Ah, <laughs> uh, do you want to tell everybody why you got into being a yoga teacher? I always like hearing. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of interesting because I was trying to get into yoga for like years because I had a lot of upper back pain, mm-hmm. and I always heard that like yoga was really good for that, and it just like never stuck. I was never being like consistent with it. And I kind of just like, you know, let it go, push it off to the side. And then a few years later, I had kind of a spiritual experience like on my own. And out of nowhere, I was like, you know what, I feel like I need to start meditating. Like I have never meditated before in my life, but I feel like I need to start doing something. Mm -hmm. So it was in meditation that I felt inspired to try yoga again. And then when I met, when I uh, met my mentor, and she was teaching me about yoga. She was like, you know, meditation is a yoga practice. So it was like I was already practicing yoga without even realizing that I was. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what kept what kept you like what kept you going in it? Like wanting to become like an actual like yogi teacher. <laughs> I I think I just saw like the benefits it had for myself and it allowed me to like connect to something higher than us. Yes. And, you know, it's like we both grew up in like religion and religious households, and that just wasn't really my vibe. So Mm -hmm. just meditating and being with yourself made me like, you know, connect with the spirit, connect with that peace inside of us, like the divinity within us. I love that. Um, I was telling Ray in the chat earlier, my higher self was like, we should probably sit down and meditate before this. And I was like, no, I don't have time for that. And she was like, no, we need to sit down. And meditate before we, <laughs> before we I was like, "You're right." <laughs> that was yes. Good. So yeah. <laughs> and we're we're gonna do a little meditation in this class as well too. So. Oh, beautiful! Be okay, that'll be great. <laughs> yeah, we um, got. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so the plan today is that like we're gonna go in, we're going to chant Om once, and then we'll set some intentions and do some like mindful breathing. And then we'll go through a few yoga poses, um, very like easygoing, slow pace kind of um, vibe today. And then afterwards, we'll do a little bit of breath work and a meditation, and then we'll journal a little bit. So that sounds full, lovely. Yeah, I got a full <laughs> class plan. <laughs> That's a very nice plan for everybody. <laughs> um, also, if you are on my account right now on Soul Harmony Magic, so I'm not going to be on the live for the whole time. And so you definitely want to hop on over to Maisie's live for the Creative Yogi. And follow her too. She's the best. <laughs> <laughs> very kind. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, does anybody need to grab anything before they get started? Uh, I think... Y'all said most of it on your live. Um, a yoga mat, if you want one, it's not necessary. Uh, you can also use like a blanket. Um, if you want to use any props, you can. You can use a pillow. Um, if you have a bolster, if you have blocks and you want to use them, you can. But again, it's not necessary. And some water and a journal or some pen and paper. Cool. Got my That's journal. It. All right. <laughs> Uh, what is the theme for the journaling? 
Uh, self-love. Yay! Okay. Self-love. <laughs> <laughs> we can all use some more self-love. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> what is what is your best like tip or your favorite self-love activity? I'm very curious to hear. Honestly, I feel like lately self-love. it's yeah. <laughs> um, so I was thinking about this earlier because it kind of ties into the journaling we're gonna do later, mm-hmm. but something that I do a lot that I don't feel like I give myself enough credit for is that I drink a lot of water and I'm like that is just a simple self-love act that doesn't take like any time out of my day but you know it's a way that I uh, take care of myself oh that's uh, that's nice and it, it clears yeah. like it clears everything I have mine's caffeine I'm just kidding yeah <laughs> <laughs> I say that as like I have a big uh, oh excuse, I was first <laughs> this is coffee um. <laughs> you gotta have a balance in life right <laughs> yeah yeah duality um, and whatnot but yeah you, you feel like so much better the more water you drink too and like somebody told me one time that like you can hold more light in your body the more water you drink and so i yes. need to be more mindful about that too <laughs> um molly your question about doing reiki we'll be doing reiki um later in the day and the itinerary is up there in uh my bio in his bio Okay, Maisie, well, are you ready? You ready to get to it? Yes, I'm ready. I, let me see. I don't know if everyone can see it, but over on my page, I posted a link to a Spotify playlist if anyone's interested in listening to music while we uh, do the practice. Everybody should check out her playlist. Like, she's the playlist queen. (laughs) (laughs) Like, she has all the good music. I'm so glad. (laughs) Yes. So I'll definitely be going to do that before I hop back on. Um, Jess said, oh my gosh, two of my favorite people. Yay, good to have you here too, Jess. <laughs> All right, Macy, All right. Well, I'll let you get to it. And if anybody I said is on my page right now, make sure you go over to the Creative Yogi on her account, okay? All right, I will see you on the other side. <laughs> All right, see you there. All right, bye, bye, everybody. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get the playlist started. Before we get started, if you want to go ahead and set yourself up, if you haven't already. And for those who might just be coming in, like I said, there's a playlist. Um, I don't know if there's a way to pin the comments, but it was the first comment I posted. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> but it's a playlist for the practice today. You can also find that at the link in my bio. So go ahead and get yourself set up. Put your yoga mat down or a blanket. Let me start the playlist. All right, friends, let's go ahead and make our way onto our yoga mats. I'm just gonna kind of scooch back here. So go ahead and we're going to come into an easy seated position. If you want to sit up on a bolster or a pillow or maybe even a block if you have one, you can go ahead and do so. And I am actually going to turn the comments off just so they're not distracting during the practice. And then once we come to the journaling portion of the practice, then I'll turn the comments back on. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way. Again, you can sit up on a bolster or a pillow or a block. We'll just be coming into Sukhasana, crisscross the applesauce. You can place your hands on the tops of your knees, on the tops of your thighs, or in your lap. Palms facing down for grounding energy or palms facing up for receiving and letting go. You can gently begin to close your eyes or lower your gaze. Begin to just notice how you're feeling in this space today.
you know that there's no right or wrong here there's no better or worse there simply just is And before we begin to move into the yoga practice for today, I just want to bring this to our awareness that yoga is an inward experience. It's an experience of unconditional love, of self-compassion, self-acceptance. But it's really beautiful because we have yoga practices that kind of help create the conditions in our life for us to experience yoga within. So as we move through the practice today, know that it's not important what the body looks like. It's all about how you feel and where your mind is at during the practice. You know, sometimes we can do things that are challenging or put our body in a pose that we've never done before. But if we're able to come at it from a place of self-love and self-acceptance, then we'll always gain something from the experience. And all we can ever do is our best. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to begin this practice with chanting the sound of Om a total of one time. The reason why we chant Om is because Om is said to be the beginning, the middle, and the end to everything. It's not so much the word, it's the vibration that the word carries. So whenever we're, we chant Om, we're able to come back to a place of stillness and a, a place of peace and ease. So option here to slowly bring your right hand to your heart. Gently feel your heart beating underneath your palm. And again, just noticing how you're feeling. We'll start taking a few cleansing deep breaths. We begin to inhale through your nose. Open, audible mouth exhale. Again, gently inhaling through your nose, filling up your belly. Open mouth, exhale. Last one, take a deep inhale through your nose, gently filling up your belly. Open, audible mouth, exhale. And on our next inhale, we'll begin chanting the sound Om. So gently begin to fill up your belly, inhaling through your nose. Exhale to the sound of Om. Uh... noticing the vibrations in your chest and throughout your body. Slow and with control, begin to bring both of your hands to your heart, to the center of your chest.
And we'll take a moment to set an intention for the practice today. So our intentions can be a word, can be an image, a mantra, an affirmation. It can be a feeling or someone who we admire and love. Our intentions can be anything that has the ability to uplift you and maybe even considering something that has the ability to uplift all those around you. So what is something we could all benefit from today? Now with your intention in mind, we'll begin to inhale, slowly raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer. Again, hold your intention in mind, inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer. Again, hold your intention in mind, inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer. You can slowly begin to release your hands. And then slowly begin to breathe your eyes open. And we'll begin to move into our asana practice. Asana is just another word we say for the yoga poses that we do. So from here, go ahead, inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, drop your right hand to the right side of you and then reach your left arm up and over, little side body stretch. On an inhale, raise your arms up overhead. Exhale, place your left hand down, reach your right arm up and over. Be gentle with yourself. On an inhale, raise your arms up overhead. Exhale once again to the right. Reach your left arm up and over. Inhale, rise back up. Reach your arms up. Exhale to the left. Inhale one more time. Reach your arms up. On an exhale, Reach your left arm up and over. Inhale. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, rise back up, reach your arms up. On an exhale, begin to slowly cactus the arms, bring your elbows to a 90 degree angle. And you can gently look up if it feels good on your neck. Inhale, slowly begin to reach your arms back up. Exhale once again, cactusing the arms, bringing the elbows to a 90 degree angle. Inhale, reach your arms up. Last one, exhale, slowly cactus the arms, look up, open and close the mouth a few times, noticing if there's any tension in the jaw. On an inhale, raise your arms all the way back up. Exhale, drop your left hand to your right outer knee and reach your right arm down behind your back. A little seated twist. Gaze towards your right shoulder. Continue to breathe. Come up on your right fingertips to help lengthen your spine, help you sit up nice and tall. I'm just noticing the breath.
On an inhale, slowly begin to unwind, coming back to center. Exhale. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, right hand to the left outer knee. Reach your left arm down behind your back, coming up on your back fingertips. And gaze towards your left shoulder. And seated twist. And continue to breathe. Inhale, slowly begin to unwind, come back to center. Exhale, gently bring your mind back to the intentions that we set at the beginning of the practice. From here, we'll begin to stretch out our neck. So take your right hand, reach it all the way up, down and around, then gently place your middle right finger on your left ear. And then gently relax your right ear to your right shoulder. Hold here and breathe. Again, there's no need to pull anything or put a lot of pressure on your head. You're simply just relaxing your hand on your ear. And if you want to deepen the stretch, you can take your left hand and just gently spider walk it out to the left side of you. And continue to breathe. Once again, no need to force anything. Just allow it to be. Inhale. And stay for the exhale. Inhale, slowly unwind. Bring your arm all the way back the way that it went around, coming back to center. The same sequence here on the other side. Inhale, raise your left arm all the way up, around and down. And relax your left middle finger on your right ear. And gently relax your left ear towards your left shoulder. Hold here and breathe. If you want to deepen the stretch again, take your right hand and then just gently spider walk it out to the right side of you. Be very gentle with yourself here. Our neck is an extension of our spine. Just be kind to it, be gentle with it. Inhale, and stay for the exhale. Inhale, slowly unwind, come back to center, bring your arms down by your side. And we'll begin to slowly make our way into tabletop position. So begin to roll over onto your knees, come to the middle of your mat or your blanket. Knees underneath the hips, wrist underneath the shoulders, spread your fingers as wide as you can on the mat here. And then option, you can press the, press your toes into the mat, or you can press the tops of your feet into your mat. So yogi's choice. We'll begin with some cat cows. So on an inhale, slowly begin to drop the belly, gaze up, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, begin to slowly round the spine, push from the earth, and look towards your navel. Inhale, drop the belly, look up, drop the shoulders. Exhale, round the spine, look towards your navel, push from the earth. Inhale, slowly drop the belly, gaze up. Exhale, round the spine, look towards your navel. Last one, inhale, drop the belly, gaze up. This time, hold here and breathe. Option here to inhale, look over your right shoulder. Exhale, look back to center. 
Inhale, gaze over your left shoulder. Exhale, look back to center. Last inhale. Exhale, round the spine, look towards your navel. Hold here and breathe. From here, if you want to shake your hips a little side to side, go ahead and do so. Inhale, exhale, come back to a neutral spine, tabletop position. From here, bring your big toes to touch behind you. Walk your knees out wider than your torso. Inhale to gaze forward. Exhale, sink your hips back onto your heels and then walk your forehead all the way to the mat for child's pose, balasana. Hold here and breathe. You can gently rock your forehead side to side, massaging your third eye, the seat of intuition and inner knowing. Child's pose, the pose of surrender and letting go. If you begin rocking your forehead side to side, gently come back to stillness. I'm just noticing how you're feeling. On an inhale, slowly look forward. And then on an exhale, walk your hands over to the right side of you. On an exhale, bring your forehead back to the mat. A little side body stretch. Inhale, gaze forward, come back to center. Exhale, walk your hands over to the left side and then gently bring your forehead back to the mat. Continue to breathe. Inhale, gaze forward, walk your hands back to center. And on an exhale, slowly push yourself back up Make your way back into a tabletop position. So from here, we're going to bring our knees together and we're going to curl the toes behind us and gently begin to sit our hips back onto our heels. If this isn't working for you, that's totally cool. That's totally fine. You can also uh, bring the tops of your feet to the mat and slowly sit on your heels. You could also sit your hips on a block behind you. Again, just finding what works for you. No, there's no right or wrong here, and there's no better or worse. It's just finding what feels good today. So from here, we're gonna inhale, raise our arms up overhead. Exhale, drop your right hand to the right side of you. Reach your left arm up and over. On an inhale, raise your arms back up overhead. Exhale, drop your left hand down, reach your right arm up and over. Inhale, come back to center, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Again, remember your intentions that you set at the beginning of the practice. From here, we're gonna stretch our wrists out a little. So take your palms and place them up towards the sky. And then slowly bring your palms to the mat, your fingertips pointing towards your knees. And then we're just gonna do a few circles with the wrist. If your palm doesn't touch the ground, know that that's okay, that's normal. Just being gentle with yourself.
Gently release the hands, do a few circles with the wrist. Open and close the palms. And then bring your hands towards the front of your mat or your blanket. Curl the toes behind you. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, straighten your legs, sit your hips up high, forward, downward facing dog. Auto Mukha Svanasana. From here, begin to gently pedal out the feet. First dog of the day, bring a little movement into the pose. Gently straightening one leg, bending the other. And straightening the other leg, bending the other. And we'll take a second to find a little bit of stillness. Bend your knees as generously as you need to to help sit your hips up higher. Spread your fingers as wide as you can on the mat. And then gaze towards your heart to help lengthen the back of your neck. Notice your breathing here. On an inhale, slowly begin to slide forward to plank pose. And then on an exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the mat, bringing your forehead to the mat. Bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, hug your elbows into your torso. And then inhale, slowly begin to lift the chest for baby cobra. Inhale. Exhale, lower your forehead to the mat. Again, inhale with the chest, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Again, inhale with the chest, baby cobra. Exhale, release forehead to the mat. Same here, bring your forearms to the mat out in front of you. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Wrist parallel to the elbows for a sphinx pose. See if you can drop your shoulders away from your ears. Again, spread your fingers as wide as you can on the mat. Sphinx pose. Continue to breathe. From here, inhale, bend the right leg behind you. Exhale, option to stay here. This is perfectly fine. You can do a few circles with the wrist, or excuse me, the ankle. Another option here is to reach your right arm down behind your back and gently grab the right ankle. But again, this is all optional. There's no right or wrong here. Find what feels good. Honor yourself and where you're at today. If you reached around and grabbed the ankle, on an exhale, slowly release, coming back to Sphinx Pose. Exhale here. Inhale, slowly begin to bend your left leg behind you. Again, this is a perfect place to hang out. You can do a few circles with the ankles. Another option here is to inhale, reach your left arm down behind you, and grab your left ankle. Wherever you're at, continue to breathe. Notice the breath. Inhale. On an exhale, release everything. Come back to Sphinx Pose. And then lower your forehead to the mat. Inhale, slowly rise back up to tabletop position. Exhale, curl the toes behind you. Walk your hands towards the front of your mat or your blanket. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, lift the hips up high, straighten the legs. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Hold here and breathe.
If it feels better to pedal the feet out too, go ahead and do so. Just listen to your body, what feels more comfortable for your body today. Inhale to gaze forward. On an exhale, begin to step one foot in front of the other, beginning to make your way all the way to the top of your mat. And then once you get to the top of your mat, bring your uh, feet out wider than your hips. And then grab opposite elbows for a little rag doll. You can gently sway side to side. Bend your knees as generously as you need to. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake your head maybe because we don't always have to have the answers to everything. And then gently release the palms back to the mat. Tuck your chin into the chest. Bend the knees generously. Then slowly, one vertebrae at a time, begin to rise all the way up to standing. Coming into a Tadasana. So from Tadasana, you can bring your feet together or hips width distance apart. We're gonna do a few shoulder rolls here. So from here, begin to inhale, squeeze your shoulders to your ears, lift the elbows. Exhale, roll your shoulders down your back. Opening the chest. Again, inhale, squeeze your shoulders to your ears. Exhale, roll your shoulders down your back. Opening your chest, bring your shoulder blades to touch behind you. Inhale, squeeze your shoulders to ears. Exhale, roll your shoulders down your back. From here, we're going to, excuse me, we're going to stretch our neck out a little more, so Reach your arms behind you and you can grab opposite elbows. You can grab opposite wrists or hands. Option here to also grab onto your shirt, grab onto a towel if you have one handy. Again, just learning to do the best we can with what we have. So after you reach your arms behind your back, go ahead and inhale here. Exhale, gaze toward your left shoulder. Hold here and breathe. On an inhale, look back to center. Exhale, gaze towards your right shoulder. Hold and breathe. Inhale, look forward, come back to center. Exhale, release your hands behind your back. So coming to the top of your mat, again, feet together or hips with distance apart. Bring your hands to prayer to heart center. We're once again coming to the intentions that we said at the beginning of the practice. From here, inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, gaze right, a little twist. On an inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward, gaze left. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up. Exhale, begin to cactus the arms, elbows to a 90 degree angle. And then look up if it feels good, a little back bend. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, begin to slowly fold forward, bending from the hips, bringing the top of your head facing your mat. Again, bend your knees as generously as you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, reach the crown of your head forward. You can place your hands on your calves, on your shins, or on your thighs. From here, hold here and breathe.
Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Plant the palms. Step both feet back for plank pose. From here, inhale. And then exhale, drop your knees, uncurl the toes, drop your chest and chin to the mat for Ashtanga Namaskara. On an inhale, slide forward, baby cobra, lift the chest. Curl the toes on an exhale, push all the way up, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Continue to breathe. Again, inhale, slide forward to plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees, uncurl the toes, drop the chest and chin to the mat. Inhale, slide forward, baby cobra, lift the chest. Exhale, curl the toes, push all the way up to downward facing dog. On an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step, jump, hop to the top of your mat, halfway lift. On an exhale, fold forward. So from here, from a forward fold, we're going to bring our feet out wider than our hips. And then point, imagine that you're pointing your toes to the outer corners of a mat. Inhale here. Then on an exhale, place your palms on the ground and then slowly sink your hips all the way down between your um, heels. <laughs> and then from here, you can keep your hands on the ground in front of you, or you can bring your hands to prayer to your heart and then use your elbows to open up the legs a little wider. If your heels don't touch the ground, also know that that's totally normal, that's okay. See if you can relax your tailbone towards the mat, towards the earth. And continue to breathe. Inhale here. And stay for the exhale. Inhale, place your hands back onto the mat, and then step both feet back to plank pose. Inhale, exhale, drop the knees, uncurl the toes, drop the chest and chin to the mat. Inhale, slide forward, baby cobra. Exhale, release your forehead to the mat. So from here, kind of tuck your arms into your chest, and then slow and steady begin to make your way all the way onto your back again take your time getting there there's no rush and whenever you make your way onto your back see if you can hug your shoulder blades underneath your heart you might need to lift the tailbone a little see if you can get your back flat on the ground Bring your ankles underneath your knees. And then we're going to place our hands down by our sides. Palms on the earth, on the ground. So from here, we're gonna do our first bridge pose. So on an inhale, begin to lift your hips up. Exhale, bridge pose. See if you can get your hip bones parallel to your knees. And then look straight up to help keep your neck safe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. And then exhale slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Release all the way back onto the mat. 
So from here, we're going to do two more bridge poses, but we're going to do something a little different. We're going to bring our hands either to prayer or bring your prayer hands to your third eye. So yogi's choice. And for this next bridge pose, we're going to think of someone who we love very much. Someone who is easy to love. Someone who, when we think about them, it just brings a smile to our face. So once you have your person in mind, go ahead and release the hands back to where they were at. And as we move into the next bridge pose, know that we are helping to open our heart here. And imagine you're sending your love to this person as we are doing our chest opener. So with your person in mind and on an inhale, begin to lift your hips up once again for bridge pose. Hold here and breathe. Another option here is to interlace your hands behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together even more. Imagine you're sending love to this person. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale slowly, one vertebrae at a time, release all the way onto the mat. Bring your hands back to prayer to your heart or prayer hands to your third eye. And for this last bridge pose that we're going to be doing, this time I want you to think of someone who may be a little difficult to love. Maybe they have hurt you in the past. Maybe it's someone you don't even know, but you know has hurt other people. Oftentimes when people go out of their way to hurt others, it's because they are also hurting within. And sometimes these people need the most love. So think of someone who may be challenging to love. With your person in mind, go ahead and release your hands back to where they were at. Shimmy your shoulder blades underneath your heart. And then on an inhale, begin to lift your hips up one last time, our last bridge pose. Again, you can interlace your hands behind your back if that's comfortable. And imagine you're sending love to this person today. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Deep exhale through your nose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release, one vertebrae at a time, lower all the way down. Plug your knees into your chest and kind of rock side to side. Just like yoga, just like self-love, it's all a practice. And sometimes that practice is learning how to forgive and learning how to love people despite of what has happened in the past. It's very much easier said than done, but you know, love is always worth it. When we're able to forgive others, we're also bringing more peace to ourselves. And release the feet back onto the mat. This time cross your left foot over your right knee little supine pigeon so you can stay here or another option here is to interlace your hands behind your right thigh keep your right leg at a 90 degree angle flex both of your feet towards your knees to help protect the knees inhale 
Exhale, release everything back onto the mat. Bring your feet back to the earth. On an inhale, cross your right foot over your left knee. And again, you can stay here. Another option here is to interlace your hands behind your left thigh. Bring your left knee to a 90 degree angle. Flex both of your feet towards your knees and continue to breathe. Inhale, exhale, release everything to the mat. From here, we're going to kind of rock and roll, begin to rock yourself all the way back up to sitting. If you want to do a few rocks back and forth, go ahead and do so. Play around, see what feels good. We'll begin to make our way onto our seats and straighten our legs out in front of us. From here, place your hands underneath your shoulders. And sit up nice and tall, relax your elbows away from your ears. You may need to bend your elbows a little to do so. Flex both of your feet towards your knees for staff pose. Inhale, raise your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward over your thighs. You can grab your calves, your ankles, your big toes, your feet. Or seated forward fold. And also bend your knees as generously as you need to. And see if you can face your heart towards your feet. Continue to breathe. On an inhale, slowly begin to rise all the way back up to staff pose. Exhale. Inhale, hug your right knee into your chest. Exhale, cross your right foot over your left thigh. Reach your left, excuse me, your right arm down behind your back. Inhale, reach your left arm up. And exhale, left elbow to right outer knee, gaze towards your right shoulder for a seated twist. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, slowly on the line, come back to center. Inhale, take a little counter twist on the other side. Exhale, come back to center, release both legs out in front of you, shake your knees out a little, and inhale, squeeze your left knee to your chest, cross your left foot over your right thigh, left arm down behind you, inhale, reach your right arm up, exhale, right elbow to left outer knee, gaze towards your left shoulder, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, release, come back to center, exhale, take a little counter twist to the other side, inhale, come back to center, release both feet out in front of you, shake your knees out a little. And then we'll begin to slowly make our way onto our back. If you want to kind of rock your lower back side to side, massaging it, go ahead and do so. Do any last little movements you feel like you need to do to get comfortable. If you want to place a pillow underneath your head or underneath your knees, you can go ahead and do so. We'll be making our way into Shavasana, a corpse pose. We're straightening the legs out in front of us, placing our hands down by our sides, palms facing up. We'll be gently begin to close your eyes or lower your gaze.
the only thing there is to do here is just relax. My mentor always says the only thing yoga asks of us to do is to let go. So there's nothing to do here. Just allow yourself to be. We're going to lay here for about a minute or so. So I will cue us out of the pose here soon. Just allow yourself to be present with the breath. Remember your intentions. We'll begin to make our way out of Shavasana. If you feel guided to stay here a little longer, please go ahead and do so. If you're ready to begin movement again, begin to gently wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Do a few circles with the wrists and with the ankles. On an inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Do a big good morning stretch. On an exhale, bring your knees into your chest. And gently roll over to the right side, resting your head on your bicep. And then place your hands on the ground. See if you can keep your eyes closed as you push yourself back up, making our way back into a seated position, Sukhasana. So we'll begin to do a very brief pranayama practice before moving into a gentle meditation. And if you need to open your eyes to see this, you're more than welcome to. So the way we're gonna do this pranayama is by bending our middle finger and our pointer finger. If that is not working for you today, that's totally okay. You can take your middle finger and your pointer finger and just place it on your third eye. We're going to be doing a Nadi Shodhana variation or an alternative nostril variation. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our thumb and we're gonna cover up our right nostril. And we're simply just gonna take five deep breaths through our left nostril. So keeping your mouth closed, go ahead and inhale through your nose. Exhale through that left nostril. One, inhale deeply through your left nostril. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale. Exhale. Four, inhale. Exhale. Five. Just begin to release. Take a nice deep inhale through both nose holes. <laughs> inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now take your ring and pinky finger and then cover your left nostril. And we're gonna do the same thing, breathing through our right nostril. So begin to inhale through your nose. Exhale through your right nostril. One, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale. Exhale. Four, inhale. Exhale. Five, release your hand. We're going to take a few deep breaths through both of our nostrils, so inhale. Exhale through your nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you haven't already, you can gently begin to close your eyes or lower your gaze. Palms facing down on the tops of your knees or the tops of your thighs. Palms down for grounding or palms facing up for receiving and letting go. We're just going to take about a minute or two to notice how we're feeling in the space right now. Gently noticing your breath. Gently watch your breath rise as you inhale. Watch your breath fall as you exhale. Noticing where your thoughts are at. 
you begin to notice that your thoughts are wandering, know that that is okay and that is normal. And then gently just bring your awareness back to your breath. Watch your breath rise as you inhale. Watch your breath fall as you exhale. Bring the awareness back to the breath, gently inhaling through your nose, and gently exhale through your nose. And as we begin to move out of the yoga practice, we're going to take a few cleansing deep breaths once again. Begin to inhale through your nose deeply. Open, audible mouth, exhale. Again, inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Last one, gently inhaling through your nose. Open, audible mouth, exhale. <sighs> gently bring your hands to prayer to your heart. Remembering your intentions. Know that our intentions can be carried with us throughout the entirety of our day. It doesn't just have to be exclusively for a yoga practice. And I challenge you to see where your intentions show up throughout the rest of your day. I wanna say thank you to all those who came before us who brought the yoga practices from the East to the West so that we all may experience yoga's benefits. And thank you so much for everyone for being here, for taking time out of your Sunday to take care of yourself and to practice self-love, self-care. It all really does start with you, my friends. And thank you again. Wherever you're at, you can gently begin to release your hands and then gently begin to breathe your eyes open. And whenever you open your eyes, see if there's a red, a blue, or a yellow somewhere around you, a primary color. This just helps to bring ourselves back into the space with a little more ease. And I'm gonna turn the comments back on and then I'm just going to go over a journal prompt. Um, if you wanna do that now, you're more than welcome to. If you want to do that later on tonight before you go to bed or maybe even tomorrow when you wake up in the morning, go ahead and do so. And the prompt that I have is, um, in what ways do you show yourself self-love? So it was funny because me and Brittany were kind of talking about that before the practice. And this may be something you need to think about. What are some little ways that you give yourself self-love? It could be to drink water. 
it could be to take care of yourself. It could be to shower every day. Um, it could be to go out in nature. What are just little ways that maybe you don't even realize that it's self-love? But how do you show yourself love? You're very welcome. Thank you, Brittany and Ray, for having me here today. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad y'all felt like you got something out of it. Loved cactus pose. I do like that pose. Honestly, anything that helps open the heart is my jam. I like, <laughs> I like heart openers. All right, so the first question was, what is something, or how, in what ways do I give myself love? And then the last question is, what is something new I can do to um, give myself love? So an example for me is that I wanna take myself out on a date, like I wanna take myself to the movies or I wanna take myself out to eat, um, but I'm a, little, I'm a little nervous, I'm a little intimidated to do that. So, and again, this is just something to think about um, what is something new I can do to show myself love? And yeah, we're going to get wrapping up here. Um, time kind of got away from me for a second. Um, Brittany says, tell everyone about your classes as we wrap up. Yes. So I did. I saw the 11, 11. <laughs> um, so my classes so right now i teach online classes i teach four classes a day on monday and wednesday so if you liked the style the flow of the class today this is pretty much what i do in my own classes that i teach so those are online and the first class is free um, and then if you're in the atlanta area or if you're in georgia and if you want to stop by i teach in-person classes on saturday over on the beltline in atlanta so if you're in the area and you also want to take a free yoga class, it's very much uh, the style as well, very gentle, easygoing. And then I also have a workshop coming up next Saturday that is also free. It is called a creative yoga experience, and it is essentially bringing together creative and yoga practices. So in the workshop, we do some breath work, we meditate, we do a few poses to kind of counteract um, artist posture, which is just like having a rounded back. Um, and yeah, we make art together. So it's always a good time. It's always fun to just hang out and like be creative and practice self love with a group of people, a group of like minded people, you know. So any questions, you can always reach out to me. Um, link is in my bio to everything. That will take you to my website. And if you do have any questions, you can reach out on Instagram or you can email me. And I would love to have a conversation. I would love to hear any comments or feedback that y'all might have. So after this, um, yes, Brittany told me that we're going back over to Ray's page. So good day with Ray. And then they'll continue with this fabulous retreat that they're doing today. <laughs> Yes, Brittany said it will now be heading over to Good Day with Ray for channeled messages. So thank you all so much again for being here. And I hope to see some of y'all again soon. And thank you again, Brittany and Ray, for having me. All right, take care. I'll see y'all later.